Okay, we are back for volume four, but before we start, I just had to get this shot. That's Fripp on the left and Ziggy on the right, in case you guys don't know. We call them our minions because we, we adopted them at the same time. They were born three weeks apart, and they've lived together their entire lives. And up, oh, right on cue, there's our little munchkin. Her name is Josie but we call her Munchkin. There she is. And that's her fishy. So, back to the subject at hand. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Nope. We, we'll, we'll stay here for a few seconds. Get it, Munchkin. Okay. Say bye, Fripp. Bye, Ziggy. I am now going to pass the camera off to my lovely wife. And we will proceed into the kitchen. I, I just want everybody to know my, my wife is just so totally freaking excited about this. But here we go. On to the kitchen. There we go. So, as you can see, I pulled the ribs off the grill. That's what they look like after about two hours. You can see that nice red color. And what we're going to do is we are going to take some aluminum foil, and we're only going to film one of these because I'm going to have to do this six times. What we are going to do is we are going to wrap these in aluminum foil. Oops, some pineapple juice. Let me hear it. Ooh, ah. And this is very simple. I'm going to make a serious mess here, which I promise I will clean up momentarily. I'm going to get enough apple juice in there. And we're going to wrap in two layers. So there's one. Damn it, I hope I have enough aluminum foil. And there we go. Now we're going to do this a few more times, but it would be redundant to keep filming it. So we're going to pause now. Okay, we are back outside now. What we're going to do, as you can see, I have wrapped all the ribs, all six pieces double wrap them in aluminum foil with apple juice. And I have already preheated this to about 270 degrees. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and lay them inside the smoker. And what's gonna happen is they are just gonna sit here and steam for the next two hours, and we aren't going to do anything with them. We're just going to let them sit. And I just discovered that one of these, ah, lesson for making ribs. See that? You got a hole there. That's a no no. We can't have that. So, what we're going to do, thankfully, I have a little extra bit of foil here. We are going to rewrap that. Yeah, there you go. Get a nice close. -up. Because you want these sealed nice and tight. And I'm glad I spotted that. Because that particular slab would have come out a little bit tough. So we're going to close this and that's it. It's just going to sit for two hours, nothing more. We just This is the best part of the day because I get to rest and do absolutely nothing. In two hours, what we're going to do is we're going to take these out. We're going to put them back on here. Uh, what I will probably do in the meantime, about 30 minutes beforehand, I will light some more coals so we can get the temperature up, although the temperature on this grill is kicking ass today. We're still over 200 
and usually I'm on my third or fourth chimney of charcoal, but today I only had to do two. So we will see you back in a couple of hours.